Doctor Who is 60 in 2023 and we know that there are big birthday celebrations being planned by Russell T Davis. But with so much mystery around the show and so much change right now, the big question for us is... Someone tell me what the hell is going on here. Hello and welcome to Screen OD, a channel for people who love TV, movies and streaming. My name is Tim. I'm an editor and a journalist who's been writing and talking about the industry for more than 15 years, which is nothing compared to the amount of time that Doctor Who has been on air. In 2023, Doctor Who will celebrate its 60th birthday and that follows on from a spectacular The Power of the Doctor episode, which saw old companions return, old doctors return and of course a regeneration that some people were expecting but most people weren't expecting expecting when Jodie Whittaker regenerated into the 14th Doctor who looks quite a lot like David Tennant. So what do we know about the 60th anniversary year? What do we think we know about the 60th anniversary year and what does all this mean for Doctor Who going forward? Well that's what this video is about so strap yourself in for adventures in space time and speculation. I want to know what happens next. Right then. Okay, let's start with the basics. When are we going to see these much heralded 60th anniversary specials of Doctor Who? What we do know at the moment is that there are going to be three episodes. What we don't know is how long they are and how they'll fit together, whether or not they'll be on consecutive nights or whether or not they'll be across weeks or whether or not they'll be spread out in a different way. But what we do know, and this is something that no one can take away from us, is that the birthday of Doctor Who is actually November the 23rd, which is a Thursday. So November the 23rd, is the day that Doctor Who will turn 60. Now, will the episode start on November the 23rd, which could be a birthday special followed by a Friday and a Saturday night run? You could have a three night event of Doctor Who's 60th anniversary. That's a possibility. What? Perhaps they could start on the Tuesday of that week, on Tuesday the 21st, and run Tuesday the 21st, Wednesday the 22nd, and then Thursday the 23rd, culminating in a big, exciting finish on the actual birthday itself. Now, Doctor Who, of course, these days tends to be on weekends in the UK, so perhaps it could be on the Saturday, and maybe the Sunday, so it could be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, after the birthday. Or perhaps they could choose to spread this event out even more and have it across three Saturdays, Days or three Sundays in November. There are lots of options and at the moment we don't know what they are but it looks likely that it's going to be near the end of November that we see these three episodes. Next up we must ask ourselves how involved in the 60th anniversary specials is Shooty Gatwa going to be? Well we know that Shooty is going to be playing the 15th Doctor. Tag. You're it. Now, at one point, we thought he was going to play the 14th, but of course, we've seen the surprise regeneration of the 13th Jodie Whittaker into David Tennant's 14th. So there is a 15th Doctor in Shooty Gatwa. This has been confirmed by Russell T. Davis. Now, how he fits into the 60th anniversary trio of episodes, we don't know. We've seen him very briefly in that teaser trail in the clip we saw earlier in this video. Now, will he be featuring heavily in these three episodes, which we know that David Tennant and and Catherine Tate are going to star him with Neil Patrick Harris, or will he be only in it in a very minor role? In fact, might he not be in it at all? And might that teaser trail be trying to throw us off the scent completely? And might he actually end up just regenerating from the 14th into the 15th, perhaps at the end of the 60th anniversary specials, ahead of his first episode as the Doctor? At this stage, it's still a bit of a mystery. It feels likely that he will be involved in the episode, but it's certainly not guaranteed. So we'll just just have to wait to see if there's more information released or indeed a longer trailer that might give us more of a clue. The next question we have to ask ourselves is are there going to be multiple Doctors in the 60th anniversary specials? Now of course we know that David Tennant is back and he's playing the 14th Doctor. Now in the 2013 50th anniversary special, the Day of the Doctor, we of course saw the return of David Tennant and we saw a very brief appearance of Tom Baker as well. Now are we going to see more Doctors in these episodes. Well, in The Power of the Doctor, we of course saw many of the classic Doctors, albeit very briefly, appear on screen. You are not finished. We are not finished. We being vestiges of your consciousness, fragments of yourself from the past. Now, when asked why he chose the classic Doctors and the ones that he did for The Power of the Doctor, which was Chris Chibnall's final episode, and of course Jodie Whittaker's final episode in the TARDIS as the full-time Doctor, Chris Chibnall said this, I didn't want to tread on anything that might be happening in the future. So those ones felt like the right ones. 
He added, I wanted it to be classic doctors and there's not a huge amount of those. It was a bit of an instinct and we asked them and they said yes. So could that leave the door open for a return of Matt Smith, who is, of course, on top form at the moment after having left Doctor Who, having starred in The Crown as the Duke of Edinburgh and more recently playing Daemon Targaryen in the brilliant House of the Dragon, the Game of Thrones prequel. Matt Smith is certainly someone who fans, I'm sure, would like to see come back as the 11th Doctor. Now, also, could it mean that we're going to see a little bit more of Jodie Whittaker? It seems like it might be too soon for her to return but she's certainly been very positive about returning to the show if there was a chance it feels like the next episode after the one where she regenerated seems a little bit too soon but you never know there's always surprises in Doctor Who and then finally there is of course the thought of Peter Capaldi now Peter Capaldi's actually gone on record recently to say that he doesn't think that he would be coming back for a multi-doctor episode and he's given reasons why it's very hard to imagine how you get a decent crack of of the whip when there's 14 of you you know so I think I'd rather leave it as it is because I love my time on Doctor Who and I loved doing it. Now that sounds pretty conclusive but of course this is Doctor Who and there's lots of guessing games involved and sometimes there's bluffs and double bluffs to throw us off the scent. So you know I'm not ruling out the fact that we might see him but it does seem relatively unlikely at the moment. And so what of the classic Who's as well? Will any of them return? Well we saw many of them appear in The Power of the Doctor. Have they got a taste for it now? Well it feels like it might be a bit strange if we bring them back so quickly. However we do know that the regeneration wasn't exactly what we thought it would be and going through all of the different phases that we saw maybe is something that's got to happen again so maybe we will be in for a treat and we'll see even more of the former doctors in the episodes in 2023 than we saw in the power of the doctor including some of the more modern ones but if there's potential to see modern doctors return from the 2005 reboot onwards is there potential to see some of the companions from 2005 onwards? Because sometimes I think, well, you know, that wasn't very long ago. What's the point in bringing them back? But of course, by 2023, Doctor Who's rebooted era will be 18. It will have come of age. And there are many companions that have traveled with the Doctor throughout that time who people would love to see back. We saw in The Power of the Doctor many of the classic companions return. We saw, of course, Janet Fielding's Tegan. We saw Sophie Aldred. Uh, Ace and of course we saw uh, welcome additions which were surprises in the show from people like Katie Manning and of course the great William Russell who played one of the first companions Ian Chesterton in An Unearthly Child opposite William Hartnell. This was a treat of course but could we see some of the more modern companions come back? For example, Billy Piper made a return in 2013 for the Day of the Doctor for the 50th celebrations. Could we see her return? Of course, she travelled with David Tennant's 10th. And so, therefore, there would be a connection. There would be a reason for her to come back if she were to appear again. And then, of course, we have other modern companions who are incredibly popular. We have the likes of Karen Gillan and Arthur Darville, who played the Ponds and travelled with the 11th, Matt Smith. Now, could they be coming back? Karen Gillan has always been very positive about the idea of returning to the show and has said never say never in the past. Who would you like to see return for the 60th anniversary specials? Leave in the comments below your favourites. When asked this year about a return to Doctor Who, Gillan said... If I was asked, I'd be really interested and keen. It would be really amazing. She added that she'd like to do it perhaps as part of a mini reunion with other cast members. I'd like to do it with Matt Smith and Arthur Darville if I was going to go back, she said. Well, I think that could be arranged for a 60th anniversary special. Of course, nothing's confirmed, but it sounds like there is positivity towards the idea. So might we see it? Jenna Coleman, who travelled with the 11th Matt Smith and of course the 12th Peter Capaldi, has also spoken fondly about the show and has also not ruled herself out of returning at some point in the future. She said, I still speak to Matt and Peter. I got a really nice message from Stephen Moffat the other day saying it was 10 years since I've been on it which was terrifying she said but yeah it's very much like a family I feel like it's one of those jobs that never leaves you it feels like Clara Oswald returning would certainly mix things up with the ponds and the 11th doctor if they were there who knows 
It is also believed that Bernard Cribbins, the late great actor who played Wilfred Mott, filmed scenes for the 60th anniversary specials before his death this year. Therefore, we are expecting to see Mott in the 60th anniversary specials somewhere in what is sure to be incredibly emotionally charged scenes for all fans who love the character and the great actor. It was actually announced quite a while back that Yasmin Finney from Heartstopper would be in the series playing a character called Rose. Now, of course, that is going to cause all sorts of speculation because we know that there's been a rose in Doctor Who before and how are they connected? Well, we hear a little bit more from Russell T. Davis, who sows the seeds of mystery when that announcement was made. He said, life on Doctor Who gets brighter and wilder. How can there be another rose? You'll find out in 2023, but it's an absolute joy to welcome Yasmin to the Doctor Who set. We all fell in love with her in Heartstopper, one of those shows which changes the world. And now Yasmin can change the Hooniverse. Yasmin Finney said, if anyone would have told eight-year-old Yasmin that one day she'd be part of this iconic show, I would have never in a million years believed them. This show has a place in so many people's hearts. So to be seen as a trans actress by the legend himself, Russell, has not only made my year, it's made my life. I cannot wait to begin this journey and for you all to see how Rose blossoms. Get ready. We also know that Neil Patrick Harris will be in the series. This was announced in 2022. Now, older viewers will remember him as Doogie Howser MD, and maybe others will remember him for his role in the massive sitcom How I Met Your Mother. Now, at the moment, we don't know who Neil Patrick Harris is playing in the series. We have seen a few photos of him, and we've seen a little glimpse of him in the teaser trail for 2023. <laughs> This has led many to say that they think he is the Toy Master, but that has not been confirmed. It looks like there's probably going to be more twists and tails in that story, but he looks absolutely central to what is going to happen in these 2023 specials, where havoc seems to be reaped across the streets of Cardiff and perhaps beyond. Right, so who else is in these 60th anniversary specials? I hear you say, well, we're expecting to see Jacqueline King come back and reprise her role as Sylvia Noble and Carl Collin come back as Sean Temple. Right, so we know who's in it, but what's going to happen in it? Well, that's the $64,000 question. Because at the moment, we've seen a tiny amount of footage of what is going on. We've seen explosions. We've seen a menacing Neil Patrick Harris character. We've seen the Doctor and a very brief glimpse of Catherine Tate back as Donna Noble. And of course, we've seen that very, very tiny piece of Shuti Gatwa asking what is going on. Now, it looks like Neil Patrick Harris's character is going to be causing lots of problems for the Doctor, but Russell T. Davis has given us a little bit more of a clue of what's going on. If you thought the appearance of David Tennant was a shock, we've got plenty more surprises on the way. The path to shoot his 15th Doctor is laden with mystery, horror, robots, puppets, danger and fun. And how it's connected to the return of the wonderful Donna Noble. How, what, why? We're giving you a year to speculate and then all hell lets loose. And speculation there will be. I'm sure that we can expect to see more clues, more announcements and more little teaser trails of what's going to happen in 2023 coming all the way through the next few months. But... How are you going to watch these episodes, I hear you say? Well, if you're in the UK, you'll watch them as you normally do on BBC One and on BBC iPlayer. Now, if you are outside of the UK and Ireland, then you are going to go to the new home of Doctor Who if you want to watch these episodes because they will be the first that are part of the partnership between the BBC and Disney Television who have made Disney Plus the exclusive new home of Doctor Who from the November 2020 when these episodes come out so you'll need a Disney Plus subscription if you want to watch them now it's not clear at the moment if they are going to simulcast at exactly the same time as they are on on BBC One in the UK or if there's going to be any sort of delay it seems likely that you'll be able to watch them almost exactly the same time as you can in the UK as part of this Disney deal but at the moment there aren't any details but yeah in the UK BBC outside the UK Disney Plus
That's all very well, I hear you say, but what about season 14? What about Shuti Gatwa's first full season in the TARDIS? When can we expect that? Well, we understand that there is going to be a first full episode for Shuti Gatwa around the festive season of 2023. Now, that could be a Christmas Day special, it might be a New Year's Day special, it might be somewhere in between. We don't know at the moment, but of course, Doctor Who has a history of doing both Christmas Day specials and New Year Day specials. Now, whether or not that will be the first episode of a season 14 that will roll on from there or just a standalone episode before there's a gap for the first full season of Shooter Gatwa which will be season 14 at the moment we're not sure but what is sure is that season 14 will be in 2024 almost in its entirety because of course there is going to be no Doctor Who as far as we know before these November 2023 specials so it's going to be quite a long wait but with all the stuff that's going on around the show it sounds like it's going to be worth it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why not hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to Screen OD. We'll see you again very soon.